What I think of the simple rules that should be applied to uh, for open health is also trying to communicate and give back uh, what we've taken from the patients, what we've taken from the public and give it back like some kind of open universities days where people could actually try and pass back the knowledge uh, to uh, the actual population. Because without this, uh, all funding of research is kind of doomed. And this is why we are doing research, so that we can give back to people. And I think this is uh, something that is extremely, extremely important uh, for open health research. I think one of the biggest challenge uh, for open health data is to actually uh, have an open data while uh, keeping the privacy for the, for, for the patients and all the studies uh, as like, subjects of the studies. And for now, some people are actually okay to give away some data on their position, etc., uh, to Google uh, using Android or Facebook. Uh, and for now, they're, they're okay with doing that. But as soon as we start touching on health data, their health data, most people are actually uh, in favor of keeping it private. It's really like their small garden. And I think this is really important uh, for this reason to enforce uh, that we should try and open as much data as we can, but also find some ways uh, through encryption and some other mechanisms to still keep the privacy and keep all the, the, the patients that are linked to this data uh, impossible to identify.